this is my peak alight traffic light from 2010 it is a ex london traffic light very good condition actually it's got a 2d bulb in there you can actually see the sticker in there as well and it's got a pre bulb in there believe it or not it's got a um 2d 2d ever ready 16 watt fluorescent mercury zero, zero mercury light bulb in it however though I believe that's a lie because it still needs a fluorescent tube still needs mercury to run and the mercury inside these is is not enough to kill you it's not enough to it's not enough to hurt you or anything but yeah and um inside here you can see these 2d bulbs the stars inside the lamp Um, there's all the wiring and stuff. And I've used those self ballasted lamps as well. But, I used to have a GE in here, but it, it, the GE, I've preserved because I don't want to burn the GE. I'd rather burn a modern bulb instead, so. That's actually what I was looking for, actually. That's for my future on fine big P130. So I'll keep that around. But. But it also has an exit sign as well, which is L which is DEL or LED. And the only thing about this is the plug needs to be refitted on it because there is actually exposed wiring on this plug. I'll show you where I'll show you where it is. And that's for the Siemens. But yeah, this this light here, it's fine to use. It just it just needs fixed because there's an exposed rhyme showing that actually is the plug here this was my first ever light i got in 2019 and it's got an ml plug on it i found out that kai actually sold me that one but um as you can see here the wire sheave it's got exposed wiring as you can see there as long as you don't touch the wiring it should be fine I'm not touching the wiring bits, so it's fine to use. But I am going to get the plug refitted by a qualified electrician, just so I can get that, just so it's safe to use. But yeah, watch the bulb start up. It's actually quite blink happy. Not as blink happy as the GE that was in here, but it is a nice. Yeah, it's got a nice preheat glow to it. Let's turn it on. Yeah, not only really blink happy, but. It did get some pretty action there. It's got sort of a cool white glow to it. And as you can see, it does light up the, bulb, the filter nicely. Got a nice good, of light, good amount of light. Can't be used as a room light as such. It's more of a decoration. But yeah, I do wish this thing had a, a switch on it so I could control it off a switch. So I don't like plugging these in via a standard via, via extension lead. It's just because it's just because having a switch on them is much easier to just use. And yeah, this particular one is a peak unit, as you can see. And this is this is probably just the um this is the no right turn bit of it. And I can't actually figure out this is mounted on on, on, on on traffic light because um it's not got um any screw holes for where the bracket was attached. So it must have been attached to the bottom of the lot of the light. And the reason there's tape on there is just to protect me from touching the wiring down there. And um yeah. It's not flickering in real life, but it is a good mood light, and I do like this bulb. I do like this fixture. I'm not sure if this is a retrofit or if it was complete from new, but um, yeah, it is nice to have this fixture in my collection, and I'm going to plug it now.
yep that is my peak no right turn filter thanks for watching this video and peace have a good one guys